So here's the water boiling, not the electrical system giving off some magic smoke. So this is an update on my solar backup system. This is actually a two-in-one system and I'm going to explain what that means. So basically I have two sets of batteries. One set is here, these are lithium ion batteries and they're 18650s and each pack uh, is about 10 amps or so some of them are five, uh, 20 amps some of them are 8 amps and these are all 18650s and then they get combined into this uh, bricker box here and then the output goes into this inverter here. And right now I'm using this system mainly to power some night lights. And over here is another system. This is lithium ion phosphate batteries. There are two of them. And then there's another inverter here. And this I used to do a bit more heavy duty stuff like boiling water or using it to cook rice. I have two charge controller, one to charge this unit and one to charge the lithium ion phosphate batteries. And you can see uh, nothing is happening here because this set of batteries is already fully charged at about 8.30 in the morning. It's only 100 milliamp going in. And this solar charge controller is still charging the lithium ion phosphate batteries because right now I'm using those batteries to boil water. So the solar panel is uh, charging the these two batteries here so these two different batteries are all powered by one set of solar panels and how that works is the solar panels uh, the current comes in and then one is used to charge this this has a lower voltage. This is about 12.6 maximum, and this is about 14.6. So when the solar energy comes in, it will charge this set of batteries first. And then when this is full, the controller shuts off the charging, and the rest of the current goes to the uh, higher voltage one. So it works in that way so it's, it's kind of um, self-regulated so this meter here shows that no current is going to these batteries in order to separate th these two batteries from this set of batteries i had to put a blocking dial over here before the charge controller so this keeps one set of battery from charging the other. And the blocking dial gets kind of hot, so you need a big heat sink to keep the dial cool. The current comes in through here, and then it gets distributed. And this is just a shut off, quick shut off, and then Basically, almost every wire is uh, fuse protected. And then I have a cooling fan here, which will turn on automatically. When the temperature gets warm, it will have some flow of air through these battery packs. Okay, now uh, let's go outside and look at my solar panels. I actually added an extra solar panel. I just 
installed this a couple of days ago. So right now I have 100, 200. This is about 50 watts each. So one, two, three, about 400 watts of solar power. And that's what I have now. And some of you have asked me how I install these solar panels. Basically, I just hook them up to my cinder block wall here. And I use these slotted angle iron. And then they just hung on the cinder block wall here. The reason I do that is I can take them down when needed. If there's a hurricane coming, I can take these down quickly and put them inside the garage. And if they're just normal big uh, wind gusts, they don't really move. So they're pretty uh, solid. And of course I use these MC4 connectors. I think over time, water will leak through the gaskets. So I'm gonna wrap them up in electrical tape that would make for a better connection. And then all these wires are, are bundled and then fed into a combiner box here. And then you have this watertight conduit that goes inside the garage. So that's how the solar panels are set up outside my garage wall. So even though I've had this system for quite a while, it's still a work in progress. And I use it mainly as a backup system. But since the power is there, I also use it on a daily basis to do something practical like boiling water. Okay, so there you have it, uh, my work in progress off-grid system. Solar cooked rice. Sweet.